So for a while now, everybody has been hating on Call of Duty till they have revealed Black Ops 6, man. Brothers have been creaming their pants, brothers have been doing backflips in the Call of Duty community. And we had leaks and rumors for a while that did talk about the towers situation, right? Uh, this is not my opinion, that's literally the news. But today, however, apparently people have found references in the trailer as well. Oh, shit. We're gonna d talk about it, but understand this. Right now, people are, and, and it has always been the numbers, Mason, the numbers, the numbers. Right now, it is the numbers, Adler, and the tower, Adler. Yay! But right as we get down to it, guys, I want to also point out the fact that we're talking about Activision here, and they have added, like, the, the Teletoby skins, right? <laughs> so, I don't know if this is gonna happen, but I mean, damn, man, can a brother get a good game? Can a brother get a good game? Like the video if you just want a good game. Dislike the video if you just want the bundles. Roll it. The Black Ops 6 live action reveal trailer is here, and whilst it didn't reveal much directly since it was only 58 seconds long, we have actually learnt a lot of information. First of all, the trailer itself is kind of just set up for the campaign, and we yeah. get to look at Bill Clinton, George W. Bush Sr., yeah. as well as Margaret Thatcher. I wonder if they will literally come as operators in multiplayer, that would be ridiculous. But we yeah. also get a look. I think they're probably gonna drop them in the game in the multiplayer, uh, probably for $20, $30 each, dressed in Teletoby. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it to me. Imagine they do that though. As Saddam Hussein, who seems it to be one of the main antagonists surrounding the game since we're going to be tackling the Iraq and Gulf Wars, spanning the 90s to early 2000s. No. Speaking of the early 2000s though, of course there's been a lot of speculation oh. that the game will cover September 11th, yeah. 2001. Yeah. I'm trying to refrain from actually saying the numbers directly because I've been getting my videos demonetized yeah. as a result. I Dog, I didn't even say anything like that in the last video that I did about this situation, right? And it's still got hit. Yeah, welcome to YouTube. I hope that's not a worry YouTubers have to worry about this year with covering the game, since it's going to obviously be covering a lot of touchy subjects. But yeah, previously we've been speculating the game might be covering it in some way, shape, or form. Now, I doubt we're going to get a mission itself, maybe from the perspective of civilians in the towers, yeah. but the game is probably going to cover it in some way, shape, or form, because yeah. of course we've Guys, like, I have a crazy thought. I'm not sure if you guys saw this coming because a lot of people right now are saying, hear me out, hear me out, this is important, okay? A lot of people are saying, bro, so what about the, the, I, I wish I could say psych right now, but, but, I, I, it's a real thought right now. A lot of people have been saying, where is the failure? Where are the BBC bundles? Are they gonna c carry on this game? Is this game gonna get the BBC bundle? Crazy thought, what if this is a friendly UAV online skin? Oh shit! Oh, shit. And that's like the cover. What if we're we about to get like a deep lore? We about to get like a deep story about the friendly UAV online skin? Just a thought, man. You never know, right? You never know. Maybe this is the real identity of the, the friendly UAV online. And if that's the case, bro, like I'm, I'm gonna be really happy to learn like Activision thought process. And I'm gonna be happy to learn like the story. It's gonna be crazy for sure. But the game is probably going to cover it in some way, shape or form because of of course, we've gotten references to the Sally pistols many times. Mm. We had the Sally's mm. added as a blueprint in Warzone, which has the six tally marks on, which was the first hint we got that the game's going to be called Black Ops 6. And of course, yeah. this is a classic throwback reference to the original Black Ops cover art. But there are references in the trailer to Project Sally, and the only reference that people have been able to find to Project Sally in real life is to do with September 11. Maybe uh oh. Okay. So. Uh. Okay. I can now 100% confirm that it is. Okay. I can 100% confirm that it was codename Sally that appears on the cover art image of Black Ops 6. The only link to a Sally codename I could find was something found within the mm, National Commission on upon the U.S. Damn. Maybe Trek and Raven Software working on the campaign are finally going to give a Uncensored. reason for Sally that's been on the pistols for all these years. On screen you can see information about Project Sally, like I said, I'm going to refrain from reading it directly just okay. in case of demonetization issues. But I wonder if they are going to play into some conspiracy surrounding the event that potentially Adler, since he is brainwashed by Perseus that happened <sighs> in the post-launch seasons of Cold War, that he could be in some way responsible, similar to how Mason's brainwashing led to him being being responsible in the assassination of JFK. Yeah. It Yo, this was truly insane, man. This was, I remember like playing this game when I had the understanding of like what happened with JFK, right? And then I played this game, I'm like, Brad, this is crazy, no way they did that, right? And this was really, really cool when they did that in the game, of course, in the game, of course, right? In the game, like, duh. 
Are they gonna do it this time though? Yeah, there's like a whole lot of descriptive marketing and Black Ops has been notorious for using real life conspiracies, not even conspiracies, but real life tragedies or, and also conspiracies and, or turning the tragedies into conspiracies and Black Ops, Black Operations, that's what it means, right? So it, it has been good. It has been crazy, but are they really gonna do this time? One in the comments if you want to see it, two if not, fair if you don't want to see it, or fair if you want to see it, at the end of the day it's just a video game. But I just don't know bro, I don't know, when they when they add BBC bundles, Teletoby skins, anime waifu skins, not saying that they are bad, but I mean there's a time and setting or place for it, right? This game <laughs> is supposed to be like uh, super realistic, man, not, not super realistic, but at least it... <laughs> The essence of it is Call of Duty, right? The uh, Teletoby skins in Call of Duty. There's nothing Call of Duty about the Teletoby skins, man. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't know if they have balls left to do something like that. I read a comment. Somebody was like, I think they have some balls left. And here's what I gotta say. Have you seen them? Have you seen that they have balls left? Exactly my point. Nobody knows if they're gonna do that, bruh. In Black Ops 1. If so, this game's going to be heavily controversial as the canon ending of Black Ops Cold War is the one where Adler kills Bell, and Adler then goes on to kill Stitch, but Stitch's death didn't mean anything because the legacy of Perseus lives on through the sleeper agents that they have let out, and their okay. ideology will continue for the foreseeable future. We know it's not even that it's gonna be highly conspiracy conspiratorial. Uh, of course it's gonna be, I agree, but but it's gonna be like, hey, journalists gonna be like, hey, this game needs to be cancelled. They cancel this game, do this do that it, we have seen this be a thing whenever call of duty tries to be a little bit controversial it happens every single time with other video games as well so you're definitely gonna see a lot of people crying about it hey cancel this game do this and that so yeah get ready for that and activision they probably don't want to cancel the game i mean come on now bro we're talking activision in fact nobody would want to cancel their game and lose the money like duh absolutely i i don't know man there are gonna be so many people that's gonna be up on their ass bro no, it's still active in 2024 even. But Russell Adler's confirmed to be in Black Ops 6. Now, we obviously had it previously hinted, but we've gotten our first look at him because the Call of Duty website accidentally posted the yeah. thumbnail <sighs> for the reveal trailer that's going to be shown at the live stream event on the 9th of June, following yeah. the Xbox nice. Game Showcase. So, we're going to be getting a more full-fledged trailer featuring in-game footage, and this is where the thumbnail's from. Now, Call of Duty has since changed the thumbnail. It was just an accident. So, for those who are dissatisfied by this short little reveal trailer, the live action one that is we are going to be of course getting a lot more very soon yeah. at the xbox game show yeah i'll definitely stream get eyes on the first and that's looked look at gameplay in this dark new chapter i don't know man it, it better be real dark if you find out that you know the friendly uav online is like the main character at that point i wouldn't even be mad bro like i want to see that i want to see that at least my boy will get his story told i want to see the arc i think it's gonna be deep if they do that guys i think it's gonna be beautiful i think it's gonna be amazing we're finally gonna learn about the friendly uav i don't want to learn about the friendly uav online specifically i want to learn about the character surrounding the friendly uav online okay guys uh, there's a big difference there's a big difference please don't get it twisted but yeah let's see Okay, so we're going to be getting gameplay and way more trailers, so look out for all of them. They yeah, have specifically said, get eyes on the first in-depth look at gameplay in this new Dark Chapter of the Black Ops series, but I assume this is probably going to be a campaign but mission, which is going to be an open-world campaign, at yeah. least some of the missions are, but more akin to Far Cry as opposed to the abysmal glorified Spec Ops missions in Modern Warfare 3's campaign. They do reference oh, in-depth no, look at gameplay, though, so is this referring to campaign multiplayer and zombies even, or just multiplayer as well? Because this Hopefully is going to be zombies. more than the traditional reveal, they're going to be revealing a lot. But Adler looks awfully suspicious in this, with the long trench coat pulled up. He definitely looks like he is up to something dodgy. And we have had previous days. Yo, man, like, imagine Adler was like, okay, you know what? Today, I'm gonna just nuke a building. Because I felt cute. And let me pull up in a, in a trench coat. If they do that, bro, cancellations galore would be all over the internet, bruh. Like, holy crap, like, imagine that. Now, no, seriously, okay, jokes aside, I don't think they're gonna do it. I think realistically, we're probably, here's what I think gonna happen, okay? Worst case scenario, nothing happens, although there are leaks about it. Leaks can be fake, okay, let's not even count in leaks, but there are references. Uh, some of them he mentioned, yeah, absolutely. I think they're gonna just 
cock block everybody i think they're catfishing everyone right now so that's like the worst case right realistically this is what i think can happen doesn't mean that it will but i think can happen where in the game uh you know every mission between every mission there's like a black ops style cutscene that's what track have been doing in all of their games uh and generally speaking that how it goes you got cutscene mission play that mission cutscene play that mission cutscene gives you context give you information about the game and what's gonna happen right and in one of the cutscenes we're probably gonna hear and see like a real world news uh, tabloid about what happened to the buildings right i think that's like realistically what's gonna happen and then you do a mission somewhere else in the world uh maybe they're gonna also explore the the inside job cons conspiracy that's going on right it was an inside job that's the conspiracy as well right it's more than a conspiracy but y you get it right like i cannot go super deep into that there have been channels trying to cover that that were shut down as well but what if I, i'm being dead ass so maybe track is gonna go that route and do the other side or maybe they're gonna go in the direction of which we're assuming that it was adler who did it it was an inside job he was brainwashed to do it what if that they go that route you never know right so that's like the uh, yeah best case scenario we get like a playable mission when this happens but i don't think that's gonna happen i think realistically cutscene tells us what's happening and then maybe we we go to like uh, somewhere in iraq or middle east right for the oil but yeah it'll be what it be and then towards the end of the game it might be like how you you know like in black ops 1 at the end it turns out that mason was the guy that assassinated jfk so we see adler being closer to the buildings and the buildings that are on fire and we have a picture which they zoom in on just like how they did with mason in black ops 1 oh, yeah maybe they're gonna do that I, I don't know let's find out statements that say there's a mole within the cia that could be referring to adler and everything regarding black ops the 6 truth lies. the truth lies america land of the free home of the the brainwashed so yeah. really they might actually uh, another yeah cryptic marketing yeah be tackling this event but yeah it'll be controversial if they do in fact mm. there's even going to be a reveal event in warzone where woods is seemingly going to be giving us orders stating we have got an <laughs> intel that there might be key information here to finally reveal the he's looking like a pushy boy look at my boy look at my boy man. he's like he's like getting ready for like a Look at a photo shoot or something. What did they do to my boy? Did you found this in the game files or is this a render? If it's a render, sick render. My boy looking like a pushy boy. He's like, uh, mm -mm. He, he got the stunning and braveness going on. But if you have found this in the game files, it's Joe over, bro. Yeah, same energy. A little bit less, but same kind of energy. It's like, next up, he just needs to be dressed up as a Teletoby skin. Skin complete. Stating we have got an intel that there might be key information here to finally reveal the mole we have been hunting. Get out okay. there and get to work. Apparently there's going to be a specific bunker, probably Bunker 7, that's going to open for this reveal event. And in it no, may contain he? information about who this mole is, who is very likely Adler. There are mentions of restoring democracy. Wood states they died in my traitor's hands. Enemy of the uh, state, wanted for crimes against the United States government, bruh. the capture and death of US personnel, and bruh. material support to foreign regimes and organizations hostile to the United States. The final thing I want to mention is that we've gotten the character reveal that's on the Black Ops 6 key art yeah. in the classic pose. Who is this character though? We've previously speculated he could be Bowman's son and that's definitely possible. He could potentially be Sims from Black Ops Cold War. He could- Nah, I, I, I hope and I think it's gonna be like the friendly UAV online bundle, bro. I, and I hope it is, bro. I, I'm not even kidding at this point. I, yo, we need the story, man. We need to know the story arc, bruh. Come on, man. Like the video if you want to know the story behind the friendly UAV online. Because I want to know the thought process of Activision. And I want to see like a full-blown arc as well. First, you had the bundle. Second, you have the memes. Third of all, it becomes a real story. Yeah, three arc story. One, two, three. Everybody say with me. Like... <laughs> <laughs> what am I even saying? Okay, let, let's continue it. Could be an entirely new character, maybe? Or maybe he's even a young version of Tommy Briggs that we had in Black Ops 2's campaign in the future. And the character could very well be Sims because the person that Adler is talking to is wearing a cap, which does resemble Sims, but it's kind of too okay. hard to tell since we're seeing from behind, of course. But if this is Sims who Adler is speaking with, it could give credence to the cover art character similarly being maybe. Sims 2. All maybe, definitely maybe. possible. Now, many people have pointed out to me that, of course, all of the previous black ops sally logos in this position haven't meant anything their characters haven't uh is that is my is that my boy 
I think we need to remove the sunglasses from that friendly UAV online bundle and then we might be able to tell, right? Because it can be, honestly. It can be. ...meant anything, but I don't think this necessarily means they will not mean anything again. Yeah. So we'll have to see if this can- Guys, check out this video on the screen because recently Dr. Disrespect friend was caught cheating though! Yay! If you already have seen it, then check out the video on the left.